Now, we're going to teach you something called attachment. Everyone say attachment. And some of you have heard of Dr. David Bowlesby and um, an English, British, uh, British English uh, writer and in researcher. The 30s. And, um, and he talks about the issue of attachment. And as we teach you attachment, we're going to teach you some Afrikaans. All right, Barb and I spend three weeks in South Africa every year. We're headed there in October this year. And we tour the country with Focus on the Family and do 12 events. And, um, and last year we learned some Afrikaans. So Afrikaans is eighth generation Dutch. And so we're going to teach you, and if you're Dutch, and if you're Afrikaan, forgive us for butchering your language, all right? But we're going to teach it, and you're going to go home and learn it. So repeat after me, ekli for yo. Everyone say that. Ekli for yo. I wouldn't, da- I wouldn't do it either. Yeah, go ahead and do it. Ekli for yo. Okay, now. They need to know what they're saying. I know, I'm going to tell them. Okay. So here's what that means. It means, I love you, in Afrikaan, but the other translation of it is, I hold your heart. Everyone say, I hold your heart. I hold your heart. All right, you didn't say it, bro. Okay, so turn to your wife, or I'm going to bring you up here if you don't say it. All right, turn to your wife, and here's what I want you to look her right in the old kisser, and you can lay one on her if you want to. It's it's a marriage conference. You're not going to get in trouble, I don't think. But anyway, um, I want you to uh, repeat after me, I hold your heart. Okay, now wives, turn to your husband and say, I hold your heart. I hold your heart. Yeah. And when you, you see, this guy's got it right there. Uh, They have the shirt, tuck your shirt in. But anyway, it, uh, yeah, I'm just kidding you. So when you say, I hold your heart, and and we need some feedback, we don't have a mic out there, but we're just going to take a sec. When we say, I hold your heart, what is it, what's the connotation of that uh, in your marriage? I hold your heart. What, What does that say to you? Safe. You got it. Good for you. Cherished. Cherished. What else? I hold your heart. Turn me. Trust. Trust. Yeah, you're doing pretty well. You can leave now. Um, (laughs) You've got it. What else? Give me some more. Value. Value. Give me some more. Forever. Forever. Yeah. Rock and roll. Yeah. We might just end up at nine. Okay. (laughs) Anybody else got something? Security. Security. See, when you say I love you, some of them I love you. You give a little peck. We're not going to do that anymore. But when you say, I love you, I hold your heart, you know what it's all about? It's about serving with humility your spouse. If you're going to learn how to hold the heart of your spouse, we're going to coach you up on something called attachment. 